Hey everyone, I just got back from the cinema after watching the latest horror film, Smile. You've probably heard about this film already, it's making its rounds all over social media, all over TikTok. This film is setting itself up to be the horror film of October. This film is really trying to, you know, get into people's heads, get some butts on seats in those cinemas. And uh, you know what? I'm all for it. Smile is a true, dreadful horror film. If you're looking for a terrifying experience in the cinema, go and watch this film. It is, it is just terrifying. It is just full of horror. There is no comedy. It is just dripping with dread. And it has some very disturbing and traumatic images in this film, especially the last part of the film. That final act is messed up. It is a terrifying experience to sit in the cinema, sit in the dark room and watch this film. It is confronting and the film attempts to explore themes of trauma and mental illness and stigma, the stigma of mental illness and trauma and the effect it can have on your life and on you and the people around you. This film is a horrific, nightmarish experience and I highly recommend if you are a horror fan, you go and you seek it out. You know, I, I immediately felt happy with this horror experience because I, I'm someone who likes horror films. I like being scared and this film does that. Yes, it has jump scares out the wazoo. You're going to be jumping and jolting, you know, getting scared from all of the jump scares. But there's more than that. There's not just jump scares. There's some just truly disturbing sequences in this film. Stuff that's probably going to stick with you for a while. If you're not really into horrific, ter terrifying horror, maybe don't watch this because it's going to scar you. If you're really into horror films and you can take horror, you're going to enjoy this film. You're going to see it for what it is. But let's talk about the bad side of this film. Why this film might not be the best of the best because it truly isn't. It's a good horror film, but it's not the best of the best because some of the shots in this film, some of the cinematography, really cool stuff, but it doesn't really progress the film. But there are also shots that do progress the film. There are shots that really do a good job of explaining what's actually happening with this paranormal creature. It's fantastic. This film is about trauma and it uses some of those cinematography and some of its shots to really drive that home. You know, it has a message behind all of the creepiness uh, to tell. But some of the shots do seem like they're in there just because they're cool and that's fine cool shots in horror films, bring it to me, but it just doesn't seem as motivated as in other films, like Hereditary, for example. We're, I'm always going to compare these type of horrific, dreadful films uh, to something like Hereditary, because in my opinion, Hereditary is just every shot is motivated, and it feels fantastic. It has a similar premise to It Follows, and it is going to be compared to it. And in my opinion, just after watching this film, it Follows is just in a different tier list to this film. It follows, follows through, it fo literally follows through uh, with its its core sort of creepiness, its core idea, uh, you know, about sexually transmitted diseases, etc. While I think this film disregards its message about trauma and really just decides to, to commit to commit to it being a monster horror movie, right? Especially that last sequence. I think Smile is worth seeing just for that final sequence, that whole final sequence. And if you watch the film, you know what I'm talking about. That whole final sequence is just, it is great horror. It is just fantastic horror spaghetti. It is horror spaghetti. It's like, give it to me. Put, you know, inject it into my veins. Uh, that whole final sequence is fantastic. But of course, the whole film needs to be experienced together. And I highly recommend you go and check it out. Anyway, 
My name is The Nevenus, everywhere on the internet. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, why don't you smash that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like these videos, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, see you next time. <laughs>